Hi everyone, welcome back to Tableau Experts. So I have created a Tableau dashboard by making use of Bitcoin existing data. I got this data from internet. So if you can see the available dates are from October 17, 2010 to December 6, 2025 till yesterday's date. So what I have done is like I make use of open value, close value, and we have high and low. If you can mouse over on the like the green and red color, right? So these candles, you can see the high value and the low value when you select the line, I mean the background color. And this is what high and low. And if you can see the opening value and the closing value. So, and you have a date filter where you can select last three weeks or a specific week or a specific month. If you can select last three months of data or last three years of data or by making use of number of years, you can select and provide any specific number, whatever the data available, it, it will show that in the report. So what exactly I have done is like, um, this is just for a data analysis purpose, like whatever the, we are showing is the daily trend. And so the label it shows like whatever the data you selected like in, within the period of time let's say like in the last week last three weeks of data you can see this is the highest recorded uh, value so on december 3rd you can see the highest value is 94k and let's say if you select specific year I'm, i'll go back to years and for this particular year so what is the highest value and the recorded date? You can see the highest value recorded is on October 6, 2025, and it's around 126K. Got it? So that way you can differentiate. And so, and one more interesting point about Bitcoin data is what I have done. Let's go back to the next sheet. So we have open value and close value. I make use of opening value and closing value and makes the difference between open and close across that specific day. And I want to see, let's say, if I go back to last three months of data, if you can see the range here, so the on a particular day, you can see the range, the, the difference is the max, it's closer to 5,000 and the minimum value is like, I mean, the, the difference is you can see 8,000 to 5,000 close to. So on a particular day, it reduction, it got reduced to 8,000 and uh, it increased to 5,000. So let's say I'll go back to a specific filter. I, I can I can provide, I can pass a value straight away, you can click on zero. Or if we want to see on what days the Bitcoin got increased pretty much like the volatile change. So let's say I'll, I'll go for uh, 3000 or more for the last three months. Let me select for a, for a particular year. So for this particular year. So if you can see, uh, this is got changed. So let me clear the filter. So my intention is I want to showcase, now you can see on a particular day, the Bitcoin value got increased 8,000 plus. Okay, let me select like the range 5,000 to in between 8,000. So you can see these dates, it's recorded high change. So the opening value is 76K and the closing value is around 82. But when it comes to like this, the date, so March 2nd, 2025, you can see the opening value, open and close value differentiation is 8,000 change. This is in 2025. So similarly, you can see on May 8th, so the difference is 6,000. So that way you can differentiate on a particular day what exactly the value it got changed, it got increased. So it got increased, as you can see, this is the open and this is the closed indicator. 
So opened value is 97K and closed at 103K. But let's say on what dates, if you want to see it got reduced to minus, right? So let's say I can pass minus value, minus 5,000 or more than 5,000 difference. Now you can see majority of the uh, this reduction happened in 2025, right? So this is the average indicator. You might see some overlapping here. But so this you can see minus 7,000 change. The opening value is 93 and the closed value is 86K. And on October 10, you can see this is the highest recorded differentiation. So the opening value is 112K and sorry, 121K and the closing value is 112. So this is the huge difference. And you can see majority of the, uh, I mean, reduction in this particular year, 2025. So that way you can make use of opening and close value differentiation and what days it got increased and what days it got decreased. So by making use of this measure value filter. So this is one very good example where uh, what exactly on a particular day, how Bitcoin drastically changed, right? And one more analysis I have done is like trend analysis. So what I have done is, so you can see, I consider only like last three years of data. So when it comes to like last three years of data, so I have applied this trend line. So you can see I have applied a short trend line. So when it comes to like trend line analysis, so, so there is a P value and R square value. So basically the, the I mean, I go, I'm not expertise in statistics, but if you can, if you understand this trend line, this blue line is very much, pretty much closer to this trend line, right? It's passing pretty much majority of the indicators are passing through this line. But when it comes to like 2024, uh, you can see like drastical change uh, in few of the quarters or couple of quarters here, right? But it is like this particular area is pretty much closer to the line. And as you can see, the same thing happened in 2025. So you can see it's not pretty much close up to the 2025. <laughs> so what exactly uh, the p-value and r-square value is, if you mouse over on here, the p-value is less than 0 0.0001. That indicates, so if you can see the lower p-value, indicates strong significant uh, strong significant model and if you can see here this also the p-value is less than 0 0.0001 and this is the same so it indicates like a strong significant value and what about high r square right we should get high r square so comparatively for the last three years of data if you can see the r square value is 0 0.22 change for 2025, this looks good. The R square value is 0 0.530. And for 2023, you can see the R square value is pretty much bigger than 24 and 25, 0 0.64. So when it comes to like for the last three years, I know there is a significant increase in the value. You can see it is more than 100K. I mean, on an average, you can see more than 100K in 2025. So the trend goes in, like the increasing trend. But I'm talking about the R square and P value. When it comes to like uh, the strong significant model, so 2023 have a very significant model because in 2025, 2024, you can see more volatile. Uh, this data got changed. Got it? So this is one of the interesting analysis I have done, but but when it comes to like uh, Bitcoin data, like it got drastically changed uh, over the period of time.
And one more uh, analysis I have done is like, this is not an investment advice, but what I have thought is like, what exactly the minimum value across that specific year? And what is the maximum value in the same period? And I want to make sure the difference. I want to capture the difference as well. This is not uh, important, but if you can see in 2025, it was closer to 76K and the highest value is 124. You can see on an average, every year, you can see the Bitcoin value goes down and it will go up. But there is a significant difference uh, in the opening value and the closing value. So I tracked minimum opening value and maximum closing value, right? So I want to show that in every year, you can see a drastic change. I mean, it will go down on a specific period of time. But at the same time, you can see the increase in the bit Bitcoin value. So this is what the difference I want to show uh, what exactly the maximum close value and uh, the difference between minimum open value. So this is the difference. So, so this is the difference I calculated. Every year you can see there is a difference. I mean, obviously there is a difference, but you can see the drastic difference. So you can see like uh, for 2025, it's close to 50K and 2024 you can see more difference like it is a drastic change like 66k so here you can see a drastic increase in bitcoin so far you can see for other years so i just selected a few set of years but you have multiple years so that you can compare what exactly the difference between minimum open value and the maximum closing value so this is what the data analysis on top of existing bitcoin this is not exactly the accurate data I got from the internet. I can see the here and there, there are some differences. Pretty much closer value I validated with uh, the existing Bitcoin trends. And yeah, please let us know in the comments if you have any questions or what exactly the calculation have done. Yeah, I'll, I'll provide some more details. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you.